Hi everyone from Tony the Scar Ghost. Today I'm making this video because the Oculus Quest has just updated its firmware and so I was very very curious to try two features. The first one is the possibility to use the Oculus Quest as a 3DOF headset so if there is not enough light what does happen? In the past it was a problem, now according to Oculus it is possible to use it as um, like an Oculus Go, you know, just using the rotation of your head. And there's a doubt of what happens with the controllers in this case, so what does the headset do if it can't uh, detect the proper position of the controllers. And the other one is the pass through plus. So Oculus has said during the OC6 that finally on the Oculus Quest we will have a completely undistorted view of the world around us when we activate the pass through. And today after update this has been implemented. So I would like to see how it is this fantastic augmented reality on the Quest. Also because, you know, I'm developing a mixed reality game for the Bifocus Plus, that is front cameras. And so I'm curious to see how the pass can work with the headset that has cameras on the corners. So follow me and I will show you before the 3DF mode and then the, the pass Plus on the Oculus Quest. So here I am inside my Oculus Quest, moving my 6DF controllers in a lit environment. And now I asked my colleague to turn off the light. And it is interesting, I left this part of the video to show how the tracking is obvious. So the tracking, the 6DF tracking is still working with the light off. It's even in here, uh, just with the light of the three monitors in front of me. So I was like, damn, I want to try this mode. Let me shut down the monitors and the tracking still works just with the light of my laptop. So that's interesting. Oculus is really a stable tracking works even with just a little light. So I had to turn off also my laptop finally to be able to obtain maybe um, the 3DF mode. So here I finally obtain a 3DF mode. And Oculus is asking me if I want to continue in 3 df mode because it isn't sure if you want. And it's interesting to see that my controllers are still tracked but in 3 df So here I am inside my Oculus Home and the controllers are like two controllers of the Oculus Go, so 3 df And there's no way to activate the 6 df mode if you turn on the light again. So you have to go to the menu to activate it explicitly. So now I have a 3 df quest and to activate it, I have to go in the settings, activate again 6 df mode. And now we have again my 6 df quest with 6 df controllers. Okay, so let's talk about the Pestro. This is the Pestro vision that was before the latest update, even before, very before. And we all know that the scale was all wrong. So every object appeared little than it was really in real life. With the latest update, with the Pestro Plus, now the scale is all correct. Uh, you can't see that from the video, but I can assure you that it's correct. But as you can see, there are some weird distortions. On the top, there is some black stuff. And there is some kind of like swimming images in the stitching points within the cameras. It's very weird. Here a comparison, the new versus the old. In the new, the scale is all good, but as you can see, there is some black stuff in the right up corner, and there are these swimming effects. So I hope the Oculus will fix it in a later update. So, and that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video uh, upon the new features of the Oculus Quest. And if you liked the video, please, you know, like, share it, on your social media channel, subscribe to my channel, give me your money on Patreon so that I can continue making these informative videos for the community and especially I want you to have a fantastic day in VR. Goodbye!